so yeah, it's good. weird when when I I'm pretty active. I typically I think I've mentioned to you um, when I'm here watching television. I always exercise because I have no furniture. So I typically do you know push ups. I do a couple of uh, you know ab apps, and then I walk. I, I'm not really ran much, but there's a lot of traffic on the path, so I'd have to kind of be darting in and out. So I just walk if I do. Now on the weekend, I've been playing basketball, been riding bikes. Um, I'm going to try to teach Victoria how to play tennis. But when I go in and visit, the last few weeks, I've weighed at her mother's house when I've went there. And then when I weigh again, like I'll usually weigh another, like at my house or, you know, at my mother's house when I leave and I lose weight every weekend. Do you really? Like when I go down, I'll usually weigh like, 175 and then when i come back for, like on the weekend i'm like at 170 i always lose weight in the last two weekends it's claims that i've lost five pounds but i've weighed the same thing both times on two different scales at two different places wow dang so when do you how do you weigh and when do you weigh well see that's part of it when i when i get down there i have eaten all day but see on fridays I don't usually eat that much on Friday. Well, I don't really eat that much mainly, but on Fridays, because I'll usually eat uh, oatmeal in the morning and then I'll have, you know, maybe a couple, you know, two cups. Well, we have this machine at work and it has coffee, but you can get hot chocolate or coffee or like vanilla latte or latte, you know, different things. So I always get the latte, but it was out today because I've drank it all. Because I think I'm the only person there that drinks it. And there's like a little, like a little, uh, like a replacement cart cartridge and it was empty when I looked at it. I was like, it's gotta be me. Cause we only have like four people that work yeah. and only two people there during the morning. So who in the afternoon for the most part is going to be drinking a latte that's hot. Chances are no one. Nope. So, uh, you know, I basically eat the same, same thing every Friday, which is like on the road. I don't eat anything. Now a few weeks ago I did stuff at Dairy Queen in Roanoke, well, Salem, and get some uh, grilled chicken. But it was like lukewarm. So no. I, I ate like two two of them and trashed the rest. So since then, and I was thinking of this yesterday, I'll eat at a place, um, for example, Firehouse uh, Grill or Firehouse Subs, I think. I've, I have went there um, a couple times during the pandemic. So I'll eat almost the same exact thing there. But the, the first time I order it, and it's not like as good as the others, I won't go back there for a long time. <laughs> Even if it's one fluke. Yeah. Even if it's one fluke. See, a few weeks ago, every time I've ever went to Five Guys in my life, it's been fantastic. One time in uh, Georgetown, it wasn't as good as the rest. Talitha and I never went back there. And then a few weeks ago, I got a second burger, you know, during the pandemic. And it wasn't as good, and I haven't got a burger there since, but I'm going to try one maybe today, maybe today. How, how, is, how is it not good? Like, how is a Five Guys burger not as good? Was it the fries or is it the burger? It, the fries weren't, weren't as good. I don't think the fries okay. were, were prepared long. I think They're, they could have been cooked a little longer. They're delicate. I'll say this. Fries yeah. are very delicate. But when it comes to a burger, especially a Five Guys burger, I don't see how – I'm well, see, here's curious. What I think. Typically, they have like a timer. You know, have your burger on until the timer, the fries. In. But it just didn't taste like – it wasn't like it was uncooked or anything, but it wasn't as cooked as it normally was. It just didn't, it just didn't taste quite as cooked. Was it dry? Was no, it hard? It, it was too mushy, like okay. a little too mushy. And I think it was the fact that when I went there, this girl came out and I had waited a while because you know, it tells you on the app, your burger will, well, no, I had a pickup. I think I put the pickup time. I had to wait there like 20 minutes longer. And several people mm. had came after I did. So I know that they had placed their order after me. So I don't think, the, I don't think the people in there knew what they were doing because the girl was laughing when she came out. She seemed a little loopy. So, you know, I was just like, it's a bunch of teenagers in there that don't really know what they're doing. Oh boy. And 
probably the manager has probably left for the day. It's probably just them. So I might chance it again today. I don't know though. Possibly. Oh, can I tell you? Can I tell you a story about a bunch of teenagers at a fast food? So we yeah. were in Boulder. We went to Boulder, Colorado, back in the fall, just on like a fun little trip. Maybe it was last summer, whatever. And we went hiking. We went on this massive hike. It was like, like it was one of those where you like when you get to the top, you it's like kind of difficult to breathe because it's yeah. so high. So we went on that hike. Like in we, Walter, like in Walter Mitty. Walter, exactly, exactly. Now we didn't need like face masks, but yeah, we were like him. We were like, I don't think I could talk on the phone right now because I'm tired. So anyway, we get to, we finish up this hike and we are exhausted, and all we want is Taco Bell. Was it Taco Bell? I don't know if this is important to the story, but let's just go with it. All we wanted was Taco Bell. So there's one that's open. So we go to this Taco Bell. And we pull up and they say, there's like 500 cars in it. And there's like four cars behind us. And they say, um, dang it. Now I want to know what, this is the worst story ever. All right. I'm just going to make it up from here on. So what happens is they were like, oh, sorry, we don't have any chicken. And we were like, you don't have any chicken at Taco Bell? And they're like, no, we don't have any chicken. So we're like, oh, okay, well, we're, we don't want anything. They're like, okay, that's fine. So we are stuck in this line because there's 500 people in front of us and 500 people behind us. So then we're like, um, well, can you tell the people in front of us to pull ahead so we can get out of the line? Cause we can't get out of the back of the line. This story is just like falling apart. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just going to stop it right there. No, you have to finish at this point. Because now I have to ask Alex what actually went down in the story. I'm about to, she's busy. I think she's on the call right now. Okay. Well. Anyway, so what happened was we got stuck in the middle of the line at Taco Bell and we couldn't get out in either direction and we're tired because we've been hiking all day and we we're starving out of our mind. So we said, can you, can the people in front of us move? And they're like, oh, sorry, we can't do that. And we're like, well, nobody behind us is going to move either. So, like, we need some. This, I'm done. I was engaged. I was. I was... Here's what's going to happen. Did that really I'm gonna, happen? <laughs> I'm going to discuss the story with Alex okay. at some point in the next week. And I'm going to come back next week. So tell us, and I'm okay. going to tell it properly either that or i'm gonna get her to tell the story okay because it was a good story 